Uh, it's something that's rather hidden and it's somewhat insidious. And so you don't, you can't recognize a child walking down the street as being lead poisoned, you know, just visually. And because of that, I think it really is a, a silent uh, problem that we have in Lancaster County. In speech class, we like do some activities with our speech, and that like it helps me to like like to get my sound like the sh sound out my mouth, not out my cheek. The windows, the, this is new, but they've been replaced, but had they not been replaced, uh, moving the window up and down causes friction, which would bring in the lead paint. So lead is a problem because it's one of the most potent, or if not the most potent, neurotoxin that, that can affect uh, children. Kids that are affected by lead can have behavioral problems, be diagnosed with ADHD, oppositional defiant disorder, have difficulty in school, they have lower rates of high school graduation, they have higher rates of aggressive behaviors, they have more interaction with the juvenile justice system. Linear Park, which used to be a trolley line that came into Lancaster, the, the bed of the trolley line was actually lined with galena ore, which is a naturally based ore, but it's very high in lead. You know, we don't really have a handle on if the soil around there is contaminated, and if it is contaminated, we don't really have a handle on whether that's actually causing elevated blood lead levels in kids. A typical setup for a lead remediation project would entail enclosing the area with uh, plastic duct tape and uh, proper signage. Once the window sash is exposed, you remove the window sash. Uh, we immediately bag those items and seal those bags and take them to a, uh, a waste trailer area uh, and they're disposed of properly. You know, during the pregnancy, when, I, when we would do construction, I would um, wear a mask, we would wear gloves. Um, tried to be protective but you know just didn't think that it was it posed as much of a risk as it did.